In this video, I'm going to show you how you can read a battery voltage using an Arduino and display it on an OLED screen. Hi everyone, before we get started, quick disclaimer. This method only works for reading voltages between 0 and 5 volt. If you have anything higher than 5 volt, this will not work and I will show you how you can create your own voltage divider in a separate video then we can read higher voltages for now we're going to stick with 5 volt maximum anything higher using this method could potentially damage your arduino now let's get started let me show you how this works and we can go over the wiring after that so right now i have a battery connected you can see the voltage reading is very stable it's reading 3.76 i'm going to uh, disconnect this battery from here and i'm going to try a different battery just to show you how things works so i'm gonna try to get this over here and then that is the positive so let's see if we can get the reading and you can see here 1.38 that is this other battery now it depends on how much these are rechargeable so if they're fully charged they might have a different reading let me try another one here so i'm gonna do this guy over here and this one is 3.7. Uh, but as you can see, it is fully charged. It is a 3.7 volt battery over here. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus a little bit. And it was reading 3.7. So there you go. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and look at the wiring really quick. Let's take a closer look at the wiring. For the battery, it's really simple. The positive goes to one of the analog pins. I'm using A0, but you can see here we have A0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I'm using A0, that is for the positive pin. And then the ground just goes to ground. So that's very simple here. Uh, let's put this aside and then let's look at the OLED. And the OLED is also very easy. You can use A4 or A5, basically the sda and the scl pins and then the other pins are just five volt and ground as you can see so for the oled screen it's really easy to connect this is the oled screen it has a voltage it has ground you can see sda scl this is going to be a4 a5 and then vcc which is the five volt and the ground pin the last thing here is to go over the code, which I will leave in the description as always. Uh, so first thing, first thing here to mention is, again, we are measuring only between 0 and 5 volt. If you have anything higher, you would need a voltage divider circuit, which I will do in a separate video. I want to keep this one simple just to kind of show you the basics. And then in the next video, I will explain more in details on how you can make your own voltage divider circuit. So stay tuned and subscribe for that. Uh, these are just the libraries that we need to include for the OLED and for uh, the measurement. Uh, this is the display. So make sure you change the dimension if you have a different screen size. Uh, here we are just creating the object for that OLED. By the way, if you don't have an OLED, you can still do this and test it out. Just use the serial monitor. So I do have an initiation here for the serial monitor if you want to use that instead. Uh, here's our analog pin and I'm using A0. Of course, you can use any of the other analog pins. Uh, be careful because we're using the A4 and A5 for the OLED. So probably you can use a one or two or three. Um, here I'm using A0, so if you want to just copy and paste, you can do the same. Uh, here is the initialization for the screen, and down here is just displaying a quick welcome message while everything is loading. There is a small delay here of two seconds, and here is our loop where we are doing our reading. So first we're reading the analog input and converting that to a voltage. We are assuming the Arduino voltage to be 5 volt. So if your Arduino operating on a 5 volt, this should work perfectly fine. If your Arduino is working on a different voltage, the reading might not be accurate, so be careful with that. This assumes that the Arduino is using 5 volt to operate. And here is the raw, the raw reading, dividing that by 5 volt, which is the Arduino operating voltages, and then just displaying that on the OLED. This is just a simple... 
uh, display on the OLED here. I'm using a larger text for the voltage, and then I'm displaying also the raw value uh, underneath just to show you what the value reading is. You can probably ignore this part if you want, just to keep your code simple. So uh, this is it for this one. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments and I will make a follow-up video to make this a bit more complicated uh, in the future. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.